the last decades, the global production system has become a linear trash machine. Products go in, trash comes out. It needs to change towards a data-in, data-out system, the so-called DIDO model. This means a city's imports and exports would mostly be found in the form of data. Information, knowledge, design, code. In recent years, the open hardware movement has captured the interest of millions of people. It challenges our manufacturing system by aiming to make technology more accessible, easier to improve, and cheaper to produce. The fab movement has developed rapidly, with more than 2,500 fab labs and a growing number of fab cities worldwide. How can this open culture bring about change towards a new, sustainable economy? Introducing the Fab City Operating System, designed by the community of Fab City Hamburg in collaboration with international partners. This innovative software provides digital infrastructure for circular design and circular manufacturing in cities, promoting open hardware development and sustainable manufacturing. Hi, I'm uh, Jaromil. I'm directing the Dynorg Foundation. We are technical coordinators of the project and we are very happy to cooperate with Fab City Hamburg. We are trying to power up this uh, uh, concept of a diffuse industry where designers can contribute to each other's works, just like developers do already on uh, source code, but uh, on open hardware. And to do this, we need to standardize the processes and protocols of communication, also the formats of designs. The Interfacer project is at the forefront of utilizing open standards to create a decentralized information system. With a focus on the DIDO model, Fab City OS aims to tackle the challenges facing open source hardware projects by mapping out the entire product lifecycle from a globally available design to a physical manifestation produced close to the final customer. This enables features like recycling, repairing, and more, helping to reduce production costs and bureaucracy. We try to put also this uh, movement of designers, distributed the design movement, in touch with people able to produce the designs. For example, uh, if I'm very good with a 3D printer, and laser cutter, and perhaps a milling machine, then I can download the design of the Interfacer platform from PubCDOS and uh, realize it uh, as a complete object and even sell it over an e-commerce or uh, over my own uh, connections, over my shop. This project operates within the legal framework of digital product passport regulations led by the European Commission and aligns with the digital ecosystem declaration established by the Fab City Foundation. So the game changers in Interfacer are two. One is the economic model, which is an inclusive model that helps bottom-up initiatives to be born, thrive and support people, participants within the fabric of a city as a production entity, a production unit. And we want to federate this economy of places, which leads to the second game changer. We have a federation model that leverages end-to-end -end cryptography with the possibility for people to own their data, to control the technology they use, and to be the sole owners of their signature, of their identity, into a system that is distributed. The Fab City operating system presents a revolutionary economic model, supporting the sharing, tracking, and tracing of open hardware in a standardized form. This enhances collaboration and promotes fair agreements directly between users in a secure network. Globally connected productive communities are empowered to discover, remix, and improve designs and technologies like never before. This economic model, utilizing blockchain technology, facilitates fair revenue distribution based on contributions and agreements. The Fab City operating system transforms the traditional economic model offering a decentralized and equitable solution. What we want to uh, do 
uh, for uh, places like fab cities where designers and producers interact is a system that takes into account their activity. Let's say there is a group of designers that worked for 10 years on a design of a new bike, a unique, let's say it goes with the wind, not even electric. After 10 years, someone finds this design and starts selling it. When this person produces this thing and this thing becomes famous in all Hamburg because people love to go on wind bikes uh, across the streets of Hamburg, what happens is not just the person that had the idea to bring it to market will get the money. But through the digital product passport, we will be able to trace all the people that have contributed to this design. And in the meantime, we will also be able to split this reward among all people that have been active through the place. Fab City OS is not just another platform. It aims to support the many existing communities along the value chain of distributed design and sustainable local manufacturing with a sovereign digital infrastructure and ultimately transforms the linear waste machine into a sustainable circular economy. To learn more, please follow us online.